getting my second dress fitting and I'm changing. Okay, I'll be ready in two minutes. All right, guys, so we're in the car again because I'm on my way to work. Actually, I'm on my way to the area of work and I'm gonna go sit at a coffee shop because I need to decompress. But you guys, I swear to God, things are just not going right. And it's not that I'm trying to talk about how horrible they are, but I went to get to my dress fitting as you guys just saw. And honestly, the dress was like too short and my feet were showing. Like this is some, um, on TV like 101 ways how your wedding goes the wrong direction so the dress was too short and then the, I can't say too much because I don't want to give it away because Fabian will watch this and like I don't want too much going on but basically the dress wasn't fitting exactly right and they wanted it to lay a certain way on me but it didn't feel comfortable that way so I kept moving the dress and so then they were saying, well, that's why it's too short, but it, basically it didn't fit right and the dress is too short. I started getting a little like freaked out because, you know, I'm freaking out. Our wedding is literally in a month from today. We literally have 30 days until we get married and my dress is not fitting and it's too short and then in the midst of all of that my mom's like oh I'm gonna send you a photo so that we can see what the length was the first fitting so then we get that photo I get the photo and like right at the same exact time Fabian texts me and says that I look beautiful and I was like oh my god mom you sent the the picture to Fabian because he just said that I look good in it and so then my mom's like, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. So then she looked and, and I'm still thinking like, oh my God, did he look at it? Because we have like a three-way conversation. So I was like, maybe she accidentally sent it to that. Oh my God. But then I, I, I text Fabe and I'm like, Fabian, um, why did you, why did you say that? Like, what are you talking about? And so then he like laughed about it in the text and was like, oh, because I just wanted to let you know that you looked good because I thought you had a dress fitting. And I was like, well, did you see a picture or something? And so he said, no, he didn't see a picture. And he was just saying that, you know, he knew that I was in a dress fitting and he just wanted to tell me that I looked beautiful. So all of this horribleness really just compounded at one time. So he didn't actually see the dress. And the people at the dress fitting shop really are like, we're gonna fix it, we're gonna fix it, let's just do it when your mom's here. So my mom's coming down on Monday so we can do this dress fitting again because I can't make decisions because I'm just like freaking out. So anyway, I'm on the way to Starbucks to caffeinate my body so I can calm down. That's the start of my morning and uh, yeah. I know you see that gas tank sign on and uh, it says I have four miles before I run out of gas so um, yeah today is going great <laughs> oh Jesus today is going great Just tried on some uh, my suit after getting it uh, fitted for me, and as I was putting my jacket on in here just now, put my jacket on, and I look, and I'm like, "What the fuck is that?" I look, yo, it's a roach, like a bug, roach, roach bug or something. Drum was like this big, just like right here. I can't feel it, but I see it. It's just like, "Hey, what's up, man? Nice suit." Yo, freaked out. Took it all, threw that joint out there. Like, they were like, oh, uh, cleaned it up and everything, killed it with some raid. <laughs> it's crazy. 
We decided to go to Mom Siam. I had a long day. I think Baby and had a long day. But I was like, I'm not trying to go home and cook dinner. So we ended up at Mom Siam. We're gonna have Ta, our favorite. Yeah. We got something different this time. Well, I did. I got um stir fry. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm surprised about you didn't get tofu since stir fry is like vegetables already. I'm not sure have said that. Well, I mean, <laughs> you got stir fry vegetables. <laughs> now you make me feel like I should have got fucking tofu. Sure, it's gonna still be good. <laughs> <laughs> talk about ending the fasting I was just gonna do this week what's your take on it um, should we do another week or no I almost kind of feel like we should never eat past eight again. well yeah there's no point eating past eight except for the fact that we do it because we love snacking we're like, oh let's have popcorn we, love, we love food yo like well but still like you could stop eating but I get home if I get home at eight o'clock. I'm like, oh, I'm hungry because I didn't make myself eat before eight. Yeah, you know? or and like there, there's shit that gets in the way sometime <clears throat> too. Which, like briefing is at seven thirty, and let's say I go to the business briefing. By the time that's over, the hell. Wow, yeah, that's true. Or bring a snack, I guess. But yeah. anyway, I don't know what your thought is, but oh yeah, let's do another. Let's do another week. Man. I feel like I didn't get my rocks off like I should. I feel tired of it. <laughs> I don't want to lose. I'm scared to lose weight if I won't fit into this dress. You know. I could, I could lose this belly. But you can't lose this belly if you're sitting here eating sugar when you're supposed to be eating food. True. Like that's there's that's pointless. See, we probably should have kept up no sugar instead of doing this fasting. Well, I didn't eat sugar for real, except for like that one day we had cupcakes and we had whatchamacallit. That's where I messed up because I was like, I'm not fasting and not eating sugar. I'm not doing both. That's that's what I did last time I lost like the four pounds. Oh, that's why you lost that fucking shit. This time I only lost like a pound and a half. But anyway, 